Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the AV8V Harrier. It is January 2021 and we have a new functionality for the JDAMs. Firstly, they've added the terminal parameters and we'll look at that using that today. Secondly, there is now a 1.5 second delay for the bomb to be dropped. So we're gonna push and hold bomb release button for a second and a half until it drops. Thirdly, the graphical representation of the launch acceptable region of the JDAM in the ESHD has changed. Fourth, JDAM block data enabled in ESHD. I've got a teapot equipped and I've got a couple of GBU 38s. There is a hostile sitting on a runway in front. Let's just do this as quickly as we possibly can. Master arm on, air to ground, main menu, teapot, operational unsafe laser designator technically don't need to do that but just out of good practice next we're going to designate waypoint one which is where the bad guy is just to speed this video up we've now designated waypoint one which is where the bad guy is and we can confirm that because it's slaved the teapot to the bad guy and just to make sure i'm not telling you porkies there is a bad guy next let's set the weapon up left mfcd main menu stores J82, ODU, targets we don't need to mess with, in this case, fuse, instant, terminal parameters, heading, angle and inv, inv is currently not functional, heading is the offset heading that you want to, the bomb to hit the target at and that is offset from our current heading, for example, our current heading is 082. If we want to offset left or right of that by so many degrees, then literally just minus or add that amount of degrees to that, up to a maximum of 90 degrees offset in both directions. Generally speaking, the less heading offset we use, the less problems we're gonna have. We go to the heading and let's just go for 100. That offsets us by 18 degrees enter and that's going to be to the right i think it is no sorry to the left then angle this is the vertical angle 90 being directly down zero being horizontal well let's just put it in the middle at 45 degrees 45 degrees angle enter let's double check it's accepted it heading 100 18 degrees offset angle 45 degrees to make sure we apply this press cage and cage button and watch n change to t We've now applied the terminal parameters to the drop. Next, we're going to press and hold the waypoint increment button for one second and then release. So, press and hold and release. That is a normal practice for operating the JDAP. Our symbology is good, now ready to go with a target 15 miles off our nose. Before we drop, let's have a quick look in EHSD. We are there, the target is there. The launch acceptable region is between him and him so there and the closer we get to the middle of that region is going to be our highest accuracy for the JDAM. Unpause, maintain about 15,000 feet, skip time. Now once we're in 10 miles if we're doing this the proper way via the official manual we should press L tip here to laser range. In reality I don't think you actually have to do that in DCS at least at the moment but it's a good practice to do it just in case that does get implemented. Now the usual JDAM symbology, look at that number there. When it gets nearest to 100 will be the most accurate. I'm gonna press it now. Remember it takes a second and a half for press and hold. So I'm gonna press it now. Hopefully that will, okay, a little bit early, but it's gone now. What we're gonna see is a vertical angle of 45 degrees or as close as the bombers can get to that and a deviation left of 18 degrees. You can see it's gonna go left and then kind of swerve in the right a bit, uh, which is pretty cool. If you're going to go extreme with the angles, you can start missing, so just be super careful. I'm just going to start turning right now and give me what I wanted. And if we ping, stop there. It's now coming in or traveling at a heading of 100 or as close as it could get to that. And the reason you do this is because if you need to thread it through buildings or you need to do this to avoid lateral damage or whatever, and same kind of reasons for the uh, the angle you can see that's coming down exactly 45 degrees you could have it coming directly down to go through 
buildings or you know whatever the reason for that is or you could have it skimming across no if you skim it across the lower the angle of skim the less accurate the bomb seems to be so just be super careful about that that is jdams in the harrier january 2021 notes that we couldn't find the jdam data block enabled in eshd if you guys can advise us where to find that that would be appreciated i hope that was useful and see you later